Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today we're back into Decisive Campaigns, Arden's Offensive. This is part one, day one, and we are playing the allied AI. We're playing as the Axis, and we've moved a long ways down the front, going from top to bottom here. You can see on the mini-map uh, kind of where we are, and some of this stuff here in the south of the front is locked and so we will uh, probably get right through the front here uh, pretty early and turn the turn or turn the part anyway uh, for the morning of December 16th. Uh, when I left you last time we had just moved uh, what we could move here of 5th Panzer Army. Now part of it just can't move. It's locked right now. Uh, it has, it's static. Uh, it will unlock and then we'll get it up to the front when we can. But uh, down here as you can see 2nd Panzer Division cannot move at this point. The Lair Division cannot move at this point. 26th Division we did move and we got it out here on the roads. You can see the major road coming through here. Uh, it's a little mountainous and hilly down in this area, uh, but we're going to want to push. If we go directly to the west from here, you can see, uh, maybe you can see Bastogne is out here. Now I've lost it. Where did Bastogne? There it is. There's Bastogne. And so directly west kind of here from 26th Division is the famous Bastogne. Um, okay, so we moved through this. Uh, we've got these Falsham Jagers down here, 5th Falsham Jager. And it goes back to its command is 85th Corps. And where is 85th Corps? Well, 85th Corps sits right here. It's part of 7th Army. So down here in the south, we've got 7th Army and 5th Panzer, okay? Uh, and then 6th Panzer is a little bit north of here. But let's get to moving. Now, one of the things that came up in the comments uh, that I actually, you know, kind of took to heart and I... I you know, want to make sure that I'm being cognizant of is not using up our artillery where it's not necessary. I mean, obviously you have, uh, you know, right here at the start, you've got all the ammo that you need and it's very tempting just to fire your artillery everywhere because you do do some damage and you kind of build up the casualty list and whatnot, but we got to be careful. We certainly don't want to run out of arty. And so I'm going to be a little judicious with it, you know, where we can. Now, obviously, at the start of the assault here, the start of the attack, uh, we want to do as much artillery bombardment as we can that makes sense, but I just don't want to be shooting it willy-nilly, hoping to get 10 casualties here or there. Uh, and so just going to be a little more careful about that, just the more I read about the game. You know, people saying, go watch out. You know, you don't want to shoot all of your artillery uh, right at the start and then get in a situation where you don't have enough. Okay, um... Here we've got the 13th Falsham Jager Regiment, and we're going to get them moving forward. Now, if we look, let's go to move mode. If we look at this hex, we should know if something was in the, that town, uh, because we do, let's make sure, yeah, 73, 34. We do have good recon on that, so we're going to get that moving forward. Now, where do we want to go with this? Well, I think, to, you know, to the extent we can, we want to be moving around the Americans here. Uh, if we can. I mean, it's all about speed. So I do think I'll move down this road because we may take this Kampfgruppe here and eventually move it north. And so I'm just going to go right down here by the river and this way. And then I think we maybe jump out on this little uh, rise. This is going to be a level one height. We do not find any uh, intercept fire there. And then this hex, we did not have visibility into that earlier so I didn't want to move the KG in there uh, just on the off chance we'd take some losses but now we're going to step in there because we did have over 20 on the recon over the hide and so we knew nothing was in there all right and that's just a such an important concept in this game with intercept fire we've got these guys on retreat mode is regular so if they take 50 percent more losses they will retreat Intercept fire is regular. That all looks good. I've kept that all the same for most of our troops. And I think I'm going to have the vast majority of 13 kind of move this way. And then we'll have the 14th kind of move up into this, you know, maybe up on this hill, maybe kind of try to surround this unit. Uh, but we're going to move these guys uh, in the 13th kind of down the road here. Um, 
Okay, we're across the bridge there. We also have the Nebelwerfer sitting here. Oh, uh, this is one more part of 13th. Well, let's just double stack there. And then we've got the artillery here, and kind of what I was saying, I may not fire it. I don't know. I, I want to take this bridge before they can blow the bridge. Um, maybe we go back here. Let's see if these Nebelwerfers have any effect on this infantry. And let's grab both of them. Well, well, I'm going to do it one at a time. I like to do it one at a time. It just, I feel like I'm rushing if I just go grab a whole bunch of those uh, things. So we take out uh, one bazooka, one truck, five other types of trucks here. This is the uh, 50 machine gun, 50 caliber machine gun truck. Uh, this is just the regular old pull stuff truck. Uh, so that's seven. We knock down their readiness to an 88. Okay, uh, with that nebble. Uh, let's do it with this one as well. And because this is actually a spot where I really want to take, you know, the town, but I think we need to go around, or at least the brig bridge crossing, we need to go around with some of the troops. We don't want to be attacking directly across the river. GI veterans, we take out 20 and five more trucks. We've really taken out a lot of American trucks. Uh, GM, GM's going to have to get building more. Now let's take the divisional arty. Well, it's actually the core. It goes directly back to the core. And uh, let's fire that into town. So here I told you I was going to be judicious. Now, now we're just firing already like crazy. Now, I think this is a really important spot to take, too. Now, we can just move around it, certainly, and isolate this. But I would like to push directly across the river. Uh, these Falsham Yarders are not very good troops. Uh, we're probably going to, you know, they're going to be more defensive. Uh, we know American counterattacks, for instance, are going to come down the Sour River here. We may just move them down here and put them on the river. So if we use up a little bit of their artillery here, I'm not going to cry about it. Um, there we go. Okay, now see, you can see the regimental already obviously doesn't do as much damage, uh, but again, soft, soften them up. Uh, this already, okay, so we've now got the 14th here. These guys have moved around on the road. I like that. Let's go here. We could move them there. We do have the 15th here. We could get them across the bridge, but I want to make sure we get this actual real division. I say a real division, but, um, you know, these are going to be better troops. Volks Grenadiers, the 352nd. They also go back to the 85th. We've got the 15th Regimental already. We've got, we've fired all of this. We've got this that is part of, uh, just goes straight back to the division as far as its command. Okay, what else do we have underneath here? There, I knew we had another artillery somewhere, and there it is. And so let's hit that into town. You know, you're not going to do as much damage uh, with the artillery going into town. But again, you know, just kind of softening them up a little bit. Okay, um... Uh, I was, you know, kind of contemplating, do I go this way? Do I come down this way? I think with the 14th, I will bring this here. He doesn't have enough to t attack this time. Now, this is, uh, this goes directly back to the division. This is uh, the flak. All right, we do have another ar regimental artillery. Well, let's hit it again. And again, that regimental artillery, well, we do take out 10 green troops there. Okay, uh, bit by bit. Uh, I'm going to leave the um, engineers back here in case they blow the bridge. This unit, I'm going to move directly across the river. Now, it's telling us we could attack with that. Uh, oh, but it would be a ranged attack. He doesn't have enough movement points to get into town there, so let's cancel that. Okay, well, doesn't look like we're going to get an attack in on this time. We, we beat this down a little bit, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to launch an attack. Uh, this is the flak. This is another one of the units. Let's get this moving up here. We'll stack it with the artillery for this time, that regimental artillery. The engineers, yeah, let's go ahead and get them across the river. We'll just put them in this town. That's fine. We also have this group, the Faldersatz, uh, that is part of the, or goes directly back to the division. Um, 
Well, let's leave him right there. Okay, the arty, nothing to do there. We've got the one battalion here. Now, if he tried to attack, it's one to one odds there. Then we could bring in this other unit from the 15th. We go two to one. With the Stugs, we go three to one. So it's this, you know, it's this unit that can attack here. We could also move this part of 15th up. Okay. Oh, we took some uh, intercept fire. We lost 10 Jaegers there. Uh, we could also move this up, or we could move it across the river. Let's move him there. Oh, he took some intercept fire. We lose nothing there. So they're firing their mortars. Okay. Let's go ahead and move him there. He takes no more intercept fire. Let's go ahead and shoot the regimental artillery in there. We take out 10 more veterans, and now I think we will go ahead and attack. I, I was going back and forth. We've also got this Nebelwerfer. Uh, where is this? Is this, in, this is in a town. I think we're just going to bypass this town, uh, but I do want to get across this river before they blow this bridge. Um, okay, so let's grab that. Let's grab that from the 14th. Now it's telling me ranged attack. I do not want a ranged attack. Let's go to this hex and just say attack, and now it'll show us exactly what could participate here. And see, the problem is, is we used up some movement points. Tell you what, I'm going to go for it. Um, three to one, not perfect, but we're going to go after it and see what we can do with these guys. And we do get a pretty decent result, it looks like. We lose one Panzer Shrek. We lose one uh, Stu 42. We lose three of the Stug 3s or Stug 3s and 10 Yagers. Well, okay, that's not bad. Uh, the Americans lose four 60 millimeter mortars, 81, uh, three of the 81s, one of the anti tank, three bazookas, one truck, 60 veterans, and nine more trucks. And we do blow them out of town there. And now let's cross the bridge. And there we go. And now we'll have this bridge to come across. I'm just afraid they were going to blow it there. Uh, we could continue our attack now that we've kind of got him on his heels. Only two to one there, though. And we're sitting in town. I think that's fine. Uh, no need to push it any further. This unit could go around this way or go this way. Uh, I think... I think I'll get him up here ready to come across the bridge next turn. Yeah, that should be fewer movement points. So let's go ahead and move these guys up here. Oh, we take some intercept fire, but we lose nothing. And maybe I'll leave that unit here. But we got the other two ready to come across. Uh, again, these guys will be a little more of a holding force, and we'll use the regular Volksgrenadier divisions to push. Okay, we got some Nebelwerfers here. Let's go ahead and hit this unit in town. Um, see if we do any damage here. Not really. You know, I mean, we want to get these things moved out of town. Now, we could have hit that. It's on the move, but I think we'll do that with this uh core artillery back here so let's try to hit that soft unit we should do a, you know a little bit of damage there but actually we don't get that much i mean we've already hit them so hard uh he loses one bazooka not a whole lot left there uh, next turn we should just completely overrun that unit um if we look to the back what do we have here that does not have any movement points uh here group B, we have already moved up that was back over there and then back here we have the parts of 7th Army this cannot move uh, the in Marburg 7th uh, Army can move look at that beautiful major city one oh that's Bitburg my bad um, I thought I saw I just saw the Berg and I, I thought it was Marburg you can see this is another supply source it is a major city one we have the anti-aircraft there we have you know a uh, Sikorung regiment there and another one so we've got two of those with 7th Army do we want to start moving 7th Army up uh, maybe I think we eventually want it probably here so let's go ahead and put this on the trucks yes and how far down here can we get? Well, we can get all the way there. So let's go ahead and go there. And let's also put the anti-aircraft on the track. And we'll get that all the way in here as well. We'll just, uh, let's set him right next to it. 
All right, so he's there. We'll take it off the track. Yes, and we'll get these Sikarung up here as fast as we can. Uh, he's probably not going to be moving that far forward, but we may as well start getting the commands up here. We've also got uh, the 85th Corps. Do we really want to go forward here? Well, sure. Why not? Let's let's push. And we've also got more back here. That goes. Oh, this is the 276 Volksgrenadier. So we do have, and they can all move. Uh, they're ready to go. So let's go ahead. Um, we'll go up into this town. We're coming out of Mettendorf. Okay, we'll move him up. What just happened? That was weird. Uh, I I swear to goodness I was on this guy. There he goes. Okay, well, there's the 85th. Now, it's weird. It shows you right here the 75th, but it's actually the 85th. I think it just runs out of room. Uh, let's take the anti-aircraft and get that moving up here. And we'll just stack that with the headquarters this time because now then he protects the 352nd as well. And then we've got an anti-tank group. Why don't we get those really cooking up here? He goes directly back to the core. Uh, we'll put them one ahead kind of here on that hill. And then we get back here to the 987th Volksgrenadier Regiment that goes back to the 276th. Now, where is the 276th? Uh, I did not see them. Did I? 276th. Oh, is that this uh, group here? Yeah, there's the 276th. Okay, so they're going to move down this road to the south then. Um, and they get a good distance. They can get right up, you know, snugged behind these guys. <gasps> A whole nother regiment so let's go ahead and move them down just so I don't forget about them we're just gonna have a march uh, we're not gonna put them on the track including the artillery and there they go all right we've moved this seventh army's moved up Sikarung back here we've got another one this is the penal battalion okay um, let's put they're gonna move at the speed of artillery well that's not very fast uh, we'll just move them we'll just march them to the front uh, I think they'll stick back with the headquarters and whatnot. Um, okay, well, we've moved all of that now, and we're going to have more over here that we can move up to the front. But let's go back uh, to where we were here, to the 352nd. Uh, nothing there, 7th Army. Okay, just making sure. And with the 352nd, we want to get out on this main road, obviously, uh, and get around behind the Americans here to the extent we can. Now, do we have any recon out here? Well, that reminds me. I think we could play the recon card here. Let's do that and just see if we open up anything with this unit that's way out in front of everything else. Uh, let's play that card. Okay. And that way we get a little more visibility out here. Also, we want to look at our headquarters and maybe move that forward. Um, there we there we go. Uh, he's a little out of range. So we may as well bring this up to town, right? Um, that would keep everybody in range if he goes right there. So there comes the headquarters. And then we'll get the... Uh, is there an anti-aircraft in here? No, but there is an anti-tank. So let's get him up here as well into town. Yeah, that works. That works. And then you have the uh, divisional stuff that's back here. Four. He can't get across, huh, with four and three? Okay, well, that's fine. The guy that kind of got an overwatch position there because he got, a, got the ridge, you know, it goes up. Well, it goes up from there, really. That's fine. I think we're totally fine there. It's not like we're going to get counterattacked. I wouldn't suppose the Americans are going to be moving away. Um, okay, 352nd. We've got the divisional artillery back here. We've already fired this core artillery that goes back to our core headquarters. Uh, but let's take this divisional. And do we want to wait and see if anything's out here, or do we want to fire into town? Well, it's a great question. I think what we'll do first is move the infantry across this bridge, or one group of it, the 915th Regiment. He moves there, and now let's move him here and hopefully not take any intercept fire. And we don't. And then what does this attack look like? One to three if we took it now. Well, we don't really want to do that. Um, the Panzer Jaegers. We may just leave them there. Here is another part of the 915th. 
that we can get moving here. And as you can see, I mean, we've got more regiments here that can move out and around. Do we want to mess with this? Do we want to, you know, try to take it out? Well, it's a great question. Uh, <laughs> let's move this infantry forward here. We know we're going to do that. Uh, we didn't bring him down this bridge. I don't want to clog up this bridge with too much. I do think, tell you what, I'm going to double stack right there against this unit. And let's fire the regimental artillery in. See what we're, you know, if we can do any damage there. Well, maybe a little, but no need, I don't think, for this frontal assault. The Panzer Jaeger can stay there. Anti-tank, he can go one more if we want him to. Uh, yeah, sure, that's a fortification there. We've got the anti-air there. Uh, now let's move down to the 914th, and these guys, we will bring down the bridge. So let's go across, okay, and let's just keep cooking. Now this guy, I think we want to put the recon on. Let's put the recon on him. Uh, yeah, this is under Melenthon. Let's play the card on this unit. Play it. Uh, because, you know, obviously we want visibility of what we're dealing with here. Here you see some American armor. Good to know. Uh, this looks like, what is this? Is that a town? No, it's just light forest. Okay. Well, okay. We took some intercept fire there. As soon as we stepped out there, we lose 10 Volksgrenadiers of the... Uh, STG-44, and then the K-98s, we lose 30. The difference, I guess, is uh, one of those has an assault rifle, one of them does not. Uh, as a matter of fact, well, we can just go look. Let's do it. Here are the K-98s. What do they look like? They've got an offense against hard of 5 and 8, 8 and 15, 8 on the attack, 15 on the defense for soft. Okay. Um... After the heavy losses of the summer of 44 and the July plot against Hitler, Himmler was appointed as commander-in-chief of the replacement army. With his influence, more than 50 Volksgrenadier divisions were set up and subordinated to the Waffen-SS to Himmler in terms of organization. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, so this, the K-98s, I believe, are going to be worse. Let's look, though, at the STGs. And yeah, they're better. So these must have the assault rifles. We could look over here. Interesting. Okay, so now we know the STG uh, fours here uh, are, are better troops, all in all. Uh, as soon as we stepped out here, man, we got smoked. So there is uh, obviously quite a bit of resistance up here to the main road. Good, good to remember as we go here, but with the 352nd. Now, can we hit anything back here with the divisional artillery? It looks like we can. That is a town. That is just the light forest. This is just fields. Okay, um, let's try to hit this unit. Now we'll know how, no idea how much damage we'll do. We see they've got a few truck, you know, they've got trucks. That's about all we're going to know there. Anti-tank, I don't want to push that too hard. Let's get this other part of the 914th, and he takes that intercept fire. Wow, 30. Okay, so as soon as we stick our necks out here, uh, look out. Um... We've got the 916th down here. Now you can see the Sour River comes this way. Bettendorf. We would have to come all the way up here to go around. Gosh darn it, we lost about 50 or 60 men there coming around that corner. We've got the regimental artillery for the 914th. Here's the 915th artillery. The Panzer Jaegers. We may need to get those, I mean, moving up here uh, with all this activity. 352nd, the Fusiliers. Let's get them across the bridge. Uh, but we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be a little careful here. Um, all right, let's bring the artillery up there and hit this spot again. So, well, again, we, we don't have good enough recon on it to know if we're doing any damage. Uh, but yeah, we've, t we've taken a couple of hits there. Let's move the headquarters here. We'll take the anti-aircraft. Oh, that's the core. All right, we're going to leave that there. Nebelwerfer's anti-tank. 
these are all artillery and then we have the 916th now if we look down here we've got the 276th they can take you know this area and I think what we want to do is jump over here or do we go there eh, let's jump over the river and get up here on this ridge on the road all right is that in a town yeah Reisdorf okay good to know Let's go ahead and just take the artillery and we'll just move it up the road here for the 916th. Well, actually, let's put the artillery. All right, we'll keep it moving. And then here's that other part of the 916th. And I think I want to take it here first and then overlook the town of Bettendorf. We see nothing in there, 54 and 34. So that is not occupied. Uh, that is pretty much going to do it for the 352nd. We took a few losses. You can see the elevations here and here as we came down this valley. Uh, look out! Uh, you know, we got a, took a lot of fire there. Now, we could spread out a little bit and maybe start really trying to move the, around these Americans. Move here and here. What does this infantry have left? No, that's the anti-tank should probably move the anti-tank forward in case he wants to bring this armor here but the anti-tank does have i believe a range of two um let's look down here yeah it's a range of two okay so if he's one behind he would fire into this hex okay we can't get into bettendorf can't really go any further here unless we're moving the artillery up we could move this infantry up and we could spread these guys out. Now, uh, you know, I don't want to take any more intercept fire, but I'd like to get on both of these roads. Let's go here. We take no intercept fire there. He can stay there, and then the Fusiliers can go here or here. Let's put them up on this hilltop. We take no intercept fire there, and now we've got good recon in on this. Okay, uh, we're moving out. I mean, we took a few losses there, but, you know, you're going to take some losses here or there, certainly. Uh, the 986th is part of the aforementioned 276th. Let's make sure we don't have anything back here. 7th Army, we've already moved all of that. Now we get back here to 80th Corps that can move forward. Nothing else back here. Um, so this is 80th Corps. Okay, let's make sure this is part of 80th Corps. Okay, so 80th Corps is going to be centered more here to the south. Uh, this is, pr oh, that's the Prum River. Did I call something Prum earlier? Thought it was the town. Well, the Prum uh, is also a river. Let's move the 80th up into Prum. Uh, and then we have a full regiment back here, the 316th. It's part of the 212th. There's the 212th right on the river. Now, at some point, we got to decide as we go south here, uh, which guys are going to kind of post up and wait for American counterattacks. I mean, we don't want to move too far out here, right? And then have the Americans just kind of come around behind us. Uh, now, we have no idea where Patton's going to be coming from, but the third is out there. I mean, we just know that from history. They could, they, the Germans could look at a map back then, too. They knew where the six, or the third army was. So, uh, okay, so we've moved this out, and now what do we want to do with these guys? Well, we'll start with the 986th. Uh, obviously, immediately we want to get across the bridge here. Do we want to fire this artillery? Well, I'm not sure yet. Let's move. Okay, we took some intercept fire there. But we were stepping into, I believe, town. Yeah, Wallendorf. And so we take no losses. Now let's cross the bridge this way. No intercept fire there. This is looks like a good American mech unit. We'll go there. No intercept fire there. This is something we'll probably want to move around if we can. Um... Do I double stack there? Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's a that's a really strong mech unit. Now, he'd have to attack across the river. Uh, okay. Let's go here. Here. Uh, we took intercept fire. Shoot. We lose 40 Volksgrenadiers there. Oh, we're up to 54 points, by the way. We're plus two for a good loss ratio. 
Okay, so we're doing fine there. Uh, and we started with 42 victory points. So we've, we've picked up 10 location points anyway. Let's move the artillery down into town here. Okay, that looks fine. Now we've got the Nebelwerfers. Uh, we have no idea what this is. Uh, this regiment, I mean, do we want this just to fully move around here? That seems a little, seems a little light kind of in this area. That's a good mech unit, although I do think we're going to get around behind it. So there is that. Uh, we've got the engineers here. Yeah, why don't we just go around here a little bit? We do need to get something I don't want to counter him to counterattack into these Nebelwerfer batteries. Uh, can any of the... Well, these are the guys coming down the road. Okay. We could scoot these guys up and around here. Hmm. I think I want to take these guys all the way north up here and kind of shift them this way. We've got this other group that can cross the river here. They can come across the river there. Uh, let's take the engineers he takes intercept fire but we lose nothing let's take them up this way let's put them in town and then across the river they take no intercept fire there i like that better up that way and like i said we've got more coming to the south here now these guys the 988th regiment let's take one of them Where's the other part? There's the artillery. We have another part of the 988th here somewhere. Not there. There it is. Oh, it's all the way down here. Got it. Okay. Uh, let's move him north. Let's put him here. Okay. And let's move this up and around this American unit. Now, yeah, could we get a counterattack here? Sure we could. So let's take something else, like this unit, the 276th, move that here. So that's, you know, uh, the Fusiliers. They're always directly attached to the division. Let's move that there. Uh, it's not perfect, but I, I mean, I think it'd be very odd for it to counterattack up into here. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Now, this is a softer infantry unit, so we're going to take all the Nebelwerfer here. And I'm also going to take, well, I don't want to take away from their artillery. Let's take these Nebelwerfers and hit here into Dillingen. Okay, so we fire off, you know, 52 Nebelwerfers. We take out 10 veterans, 5 trucks, and 1 mortar. All right, well, I mean, when you're firing into town, you don't get a hell of a good return. I'm going to move this arty part, uh, battalion. I think I'm actually going to move it right here. Just in case he gets any ideas of crossing the river. We now have defense there. This artillery, so he's already moved as far as he can. This artillery also has men in it, right? It has the knock trooping. So let's get this moved here. Yeah. And then let's fire down uh, the mortars. Probably won't do much. Take out a truck. We take out one of their mortars, so that's fine. Uh, we've also got this artillery. Now, is this into a town? No, that's into the plains. Let's fire directly into that. That's anti-tank. Uh, but he's just sitting out here exposed. And you can see how much more damage the artillery does when they're exposed. Uh, we take out almost that entire unit. I mean, that really got wrecked there. Okay, we, you know, just goes to show you more and more, we have really got to make sure that, you know, when we're shooting artillery later on, that we're really focusing where it's going to do its greatest damage. Now, these guys, it looks like they could run forever. What do we know about Beaufort? Well, not a whole lot. Um, officer. Let's play the recon card here as well. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, here, just to see if we can learn any more about Beaufort or any place else. So we'll play it right there, play the card, played a lot of recon this first turn. Yep, and now we find out there is a unit in Beaufort, and that's why you do that, right? Uh, let's get the anti-tank across the river. Let's get the divisional headquarters 
Well, now that's the unit I think we can get up here and use to play defense a little bit. Let's get him centered. Everybody's now, you know, still in command. Now he's, we've got artillery there. Okay, so now we've guarded against any kind of counterattack. Not, I think there was like a 2% chance that would actually happen. We have anti-tank here. That's all going to be fine. We've got the 80th Corps that we've already moved up. We've got this regiment that we want to get moving, right? So it's currently in combat. It moves as foot. Well, okay. I don't think that's really going to do much for us then. Let's just keep him. And what did this, this is part of the 212th. Oh, so he needs to go right down here. We're a little thin kind of in this area, but uh, that's okay. Um, there's a bridge there at Steinem. There's another bridge there. Well, let's get this whole regiment moving down here. One, two, and then here comes the Artie a little bit slower. We'll keep him on the main road since he is slower. Can't move any of this back here. Can't move that. Uh, after this first turn, I'll stop being quite so crazy anal about that, but I just want to make sure there's nothing we leave behind. Uh, this is part of 80th Corps. What do we, we've got 53. Third core here, uh, but it looks like his unit, his units that are down here are locked. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of units down here. So let's actually take 53rd core. Is this a town? Let's go to Hex. That's Olk. What is this? Vintendorf. Okay. Oh wow, he can get a long ways down here. Um. They've blown the bridge here, or maybe we've blown it. Maybe we should blow these bridges uh, because we're going to be playing defense like crazy down here, I would suspect. Uh, if my World War II history serves me correct, that's a town. Okay. This is a town. Can't get all the way there. For now, let's just put him there. Uh, the core headquarters so all of these guys are going directly back to the core it looks like 53rd core 53rd core they're all locked this turn so we can't i mean we can't move them anywhere this bridge is blown this bridge is blown uh if we're going to play that game got to blow them all that one's blown we would probably want to blow this one but this division can get out here the 212th it's the last one we've got uh, to move this turn um Okay, well, let's take these engineers, and, I mean, we've got another major road here. Let's take these engineers, and we'll move them out of Rallingen. And then, who are these engineers with? They're directly with 7th Army. Okay. Uh, interesting. Well, I mean, how many engineers do you need down here, and how many bridges do we want to fix, uh, is the real question. He hasn't blown these where we would really like to get across, uh, but, man, the Sour River might be nice to defend here in the south. Um, well, for now, start to move him out of town. Then we have infantry here that can move across the bridge, or it could come south here. I think I'll take this uh, regiment uh, or would, do we take the engineer? Let's take the engineer south. Okay, we're probably going to get some intercept fire here. You see, we've now uncovered an American unit. Let's leave... Well, see, they've got the height advantage there, and I'm not talking basketball terms. Um, that was tough terrain. You see a lot of forest here. Uh, we may want to get up here on a, you know, the height... Let's go this way, actually, with this regiment. We'll come through here. Okay. Then I think I want to try to come, you know, stay this way. Maybe do we jump up here so we have something that's at a little bit of a height? Uh, this is Osweiler. They probably have something. No, well, they do, but we don't take any intercept fire there. Okay, let's get the anti-tank rolling, and for now, let's just put it into town here. Um, and let's take that engineering group, and we'll just put them in this town, the 7th Army Engineering Group. Just looking back here. Okay. 
There's Seventh Army. That's what I wanted to find. Well, he's going to be way out of command, but he's going to be behind the front a little bit here. We've got Artie. We could start raining fire down here on this guy, but I really just kind of want to by bypass him if we can. Um, so let's take the next regiment out. We'll move down the road. Uh, we didn't really come under much resistance there. We'll see if we get any fire eventually. This is the 320th Volksgrenadier Regiment. He does take some fire. We lose 10 of the STG 44s, but that's okay because now we got him a little surrounded. Uh, and now we've uncovered another unit. Let's go ahead. Well, tell you what. Let's get back up here to the 423rd. We've also got this arty that can help us out here. It goes straight back to the core uh, when and if we need it. Let's jump the river here and start moving up the road. All right, and we're starting to uncover things. And here, let's play the recon card on that unit. All right, let's see what we can find out here. Okay, well, not a whole lot. I mean, we've got a lot of elevation here, and we've got some woods and whatnot, but we're, you know, working beyond here. Artillery there. This is the Fusiliers. And then we've got the other, what, regiment, uh, part of the regiment there. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, well, hmm. We've got some anti-tank. We've got some division, or core arty and core core anti-tank there we've got this artillery you know that we could start moving but i think i'm going to bombard town uh with the core artillery see if we can take out anything nope we don't do anything other than knock down his readiness slightly not really um let's try that again three to one may get a little return fire here all right that time we have a little better results 20 veterans two trucks with that already. Uh, we've got the regimental here. We could fire out on something here, but I'm gonna wait on that. This artillery regimental, eh, we're gonna wanna get that across the bridge. The Fusiliers and this battalion. Okay, is he in town? Light Force, no he's not. So let's get him across the river here. I think we may leave this unit and the Stug right here just to guard against um, any kind of counterattack. And then I also, well, do, 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 do. let's leave the Artie up on this ridge. That's fine. And I think then maybe actually this part, this regiment, he's what, the 423rd? 423rd let's get him let's move him up there and then down we don't take any intercept fire we've still got that stug there let's move the headquarters up here um that's good and then we've got these guys moving down the road we've got the arty here he could get across the river so let's do that we've already moved out that part of the 320 320th regiment We've got this artillery. He can get across. What do we got stacked there? Not a whole lot. Um, okay, across you go. That's moved. And then I think everything else is locked. Now, I'm going to go back and check that we've moved everything. Um, okay, we're moving out here. We're across the Sour River. Now, we may just kind of skirt this river. Where are their points down here? Well, Junk Linster. So we're at 54 points. If we look at the strategic map, we've taken, you know, some of these initial towns, little towns here. A couple of them gave us five points. I'm not sure which one we didn't have. Dasburg, maybe, or Gemond. Um, this Ecternock, we can get five points for Ecternock. Let's find it. Ecternock? Ecternock? Where are you? Uh, Ecternock? Why am I not seeing it? Bollendorf, Edelbrook. Huh. Sometimes uh, that mini map or the strategic map really throws me off because this map is a lot bigger than that thing makes it look. Okay, let's look at that one more time. Mersh, Ecternox right on the river. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back. Let's go down the Sour River and look for Ecternox. 
oh, is this just what we were trying to get? Yeah, okay, that's worth five points. So we definitely want to take that, right? Uh, but looking at the strategic map, once we take that, there's no reason to go down into this southern area. Those guys are static. They really just can play defense. Do we want to go after Mersh? I mean, I mean, it's five points worth it, right? I mean, Edelbrook, Myrtleong, you know, Bastones were 10. Do we stay kind of north of the river and just allow the Americans to keep all of this? I think probably. I think that's the smarter way to play. You're not going to be able to get everything down on this, you know, bottom side of the map. The Americans are just going to bring way too much force for that. And so there is... Uh, Edelbrook. Oh, that's what I was just looking at. Okay. So, yeah, I think there's Edelbrook. I think Edelbrook might be the furthest south of anything we try to capture. I think all of this we're going to move north, which would allow us to push up these main roads with all of our motorized um, and then play defense behind the Sour River. Now, the Sour goes all the way out to Edelbrook. Um, then we have heights here. We have more heights here. I think this is where we're going to play defense, um, right on the Sour River and then up here. So we'll blow everything on the river once we get across it, but then we'll just move up the river. Uh, and, you know, we, of course, have to leave some defense back, maybe the 212th, maybe all of this core, the, what is this, the 80th core, maybe we leave all of this back here, but we'll see. Anyway, this has been a lot of fun. Man, I really like this game. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to turn the turn and see what the Americans have in store for us. Uh, until then, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you uh, had a good time. I'll talk to you next time.